My name is Ryan Bowen and I am the president and founder of Raindrop Roofing Northwest in Portland, Oregon. We do commercial residential roofing, re-roofs, repairs, inspections. Well, I met up with Tracy in I think July of 2009. I was in dire need of somebody to help me straighten my business out and I had I mentioned what the problems I was going through and I met up with her and um, there was an interesting interesting thing because she wasn't trying to get me as a client. She was actually seeing if we were a good match. And that was really important to me. She kind of vetted me, like, would we work well together? What is it you need? And basically what I told her I needed was, I needed my life to be sustainable. I was working 15 hours a day. I'd done that for I'll probably about, at that point, working for others and myself. I was probably in year like 18 of doing that. And I had worked through one child's um, growing up years already and regretted it. And I had a second child who at that point was two. And she, uh, I was not willing to lose her childhood also because I was working. Mm -hmm. And um, that was why I contracted with Tracy. What I wanted to accomplish when I contracted with Tracy was I wanted to have a sustainable life. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to decide whether to contract or expand in my business. I wanted to spend time with my family, watch my children grow up, and I wanted to travel and pursue my hobbies and grow as a person as well. I felt that I was stuck in just old habits and routines the entire time, like I had been for years, and I wasn't expanding as a person. I think one of the most important benefits I got was my life did become sustainable. I did grow 225% during an economic downturn. All my competitors have shrunk. A bunch of them went out of business, and so that was a result of the coaching with Tracy was that growth, but I grew sustainably. I put people and systems in place where I didn't have to lay awake during the nights thinking about things that were going on, things that needed to be done. I actually worked, I worked regular hours and if I, I can spend mornings and afternoons with my daughter now. I've, I've learned about myself that I am not a loner technician that's come into the business. I came in from, I started basically cleaning up the ground uh, as a roofing, as a roofer. I cleaned up the ground, I moved the chain, I moved all the way up through all the, everything you need to do to know how to install a roof. And so I got to the top of my game as a technician and thought, hey, well, I own my own company. It's just doing the same thing, but working for myself. And wow, what a difference that was. Wearing the hat as an owner is a completely separate game. And so for many years, I just figured I was just, you know, a lucky roofer who got to own his own business and work his tail off. Um, but that ended up what, with Tracy, I found that I actually am a leader. I'm, a, I'm actually a loving, caring, intelligent, and, and um, purposeful leader, which I didn't know when I started. The greatest strengths Tracy brings that I feel is not a cookie cutter approach. She actually addresses each person individually. She has incisive listening skills. She basically cuts through all the BS and here's what you're really saying, and here's what's really needed. And then she's really bright, she's got a keen wit, and she applies it to solving, solving problems, that, like things I wouldn't think of how to solve. And she's not just a statistical analyst. I did work for a consulting firm for a little while in my uh, late teens, and they were a statistical approach to management, which is great, but it doesn't actually, it's not a holistic approach to the business itself. You can use statistics as an indicator of things gone wrong, but Tracy gets into the, the, the grit and the deep dirt, everything that's going on around the business holding people in place and holding from not growing. So that's what, that's what I really like about Tracy. What surprised me most about working with Tracy was she had a planned consistency. She had planned the tactic of how to grow my business and myself at the very start. And a year and a half later she said, well that's why since day one I've been telling you this because I knew we'd get to this point. And I'd be like, oh, wow, I wasn't ready to hear it. So she was very consistent and she, was, she didn't tell me what her tactics were, she just used them ruthlessly to make me be a better person and my business grow well. Seven. Well, my biggest aha moment was finding out the power of thought. Basically, I found that I was, I was holding myself and others in place through self-limiting beliefs. And that's what I found through Tracy. It wasn't, we had to do all these actions to get me to the point that I actually saw what, how I was holding myself in place. I was holding employees in place, not making them responsible and capable to do, to do things. I would do it for them. And it, even though it was tough, through discipline, discipline, thought, and action, I actually moved them into being more responsible and growing. And in their growth, I've grown. I'm not holding them in, in place, I'm not holding myself in place. Tracy made me see that I 
basically a lot of people, and I see this really clearly now, are just living inside of a mental box. And she opened these, this whole world of possibility and growth up to me through, through business consulting. And it's really tricky of her. She'll just address the problems in the business, but they're all a manifestation of how I hold myself and others. And that whole thing and it's, it's resonated all the way through to my personal life, I mean, and changed my life for the better. The reason I chose Tracy is because there was no BS, there's no sales pitch. It was, are we going to work well together or not? It wasn't, I need another client. It was like, is this going to be sustainable for both of us? Is this going to be rewarding for both of us? And that's, that's why I chose her. What she said to me basically was, I'm going to listen to what you say, and then I'm going to tell you what I hear, Fear, fearlessly. And it wasn't, I'm going to pat you in the back and make you feel good about yourself, regardless of your, your uh, results. I was going to advise somebody on how to find a coach. Say, find somebody you can hear hard truths from, number one. Number two, find somebody who will say it like they see it. Number three, find somebody who will listen to your story, but hear what you're really saying underneath. Find somebody who will help you move out of your comfortable habits and routines. So find somebody who you could be uncomfortable with. I still have stories to tell myself that I believe mm -hmm. that Tracy will hear and say, well, what I'm hearing is this. And even though sometimes it's maybe not what I want to hear, every time I've done what she's told me to do, there's been great rewards.